On Tuesday, South Dakota lawmakers will decide whether the conduct of Attorney General Jason Roundsburg surrounding the death of Joe Beaver involved impeachable offenses. Kel Lynn's Don Jorgensen takes a look back at how it all started and how it could end. The deadly crash and possible impeachment involving Jason Roundsburg has made headlines in South Dakota and nationally for more than a year now. Back on September 12, 2020, Roundsburg was driving home from a political function in Redfield when he struck and killed Joe Beaver, who was walking along the shoulder of Highway 14 with a flashlight. Roundsburg called 911 and told the dispatcher he had hit something. But it wasn't until the next day that Roundsburg returned to that area and discovered Beaver's body alongside the road. In February of 2021, Five months after the crash, the Hyde County Deputy State's Attorney announced three misdemeanor charges against Roundsburg, all related to his driving but not Beaver's death. It was shortly after that that the calls began for Roundsburg to resign or be impeached. Even the governor said that he was unfit to hold office. And in January of this year, the state legislature took up the matter. The House Select Committee on Investigation held three days of hearings and heard testimony from investigators and prosecutors. Last week, the House Select Committee voted 6-2 to two not to recommend the impeachment of Jason Roundsburg. But just this past week, the Department of Public Safety gave a detailed and lengthy briefing to some lawmakers on their investigation and findings where they said again that Roundsburg was distracted the night he hit and killed Joe Beaver. And even though investigators say that they were prepared to show the House Select Committee members that same presentation, they were denied that opportunity. So now it's going to be up to the full House to decide on Tuesday if Roundsburg's actions are impeachable offenses.